Hello everyone and welcome to another casual review. Today I'm talking about Behind the Frame. This is another venture into my pile of freebie games that I have accrued over the years. Sometimes it's nice just to look for one of those bite-sized games that you can uh, play for a little bit just for the afternoon and then move on to something else. In this game, you control a painter in her apartment as you are attempting to figure out what is going on with this uh, painter's history, this painter's past. There's kind of more than meets the eye and a mystery as you are trying to uh, figure out exactly what this situation is. It really is more like a visual novel than a game, but with some light puzzle elements, like you are just uh, turning around the room. You're not really moving around the room, but you're just clicking and moving your mouse around and you are clicking on objects to interact with them and get clues in order to reveal the next puzzle piece or the next uh, thing that's supposed to happen. For instance, in this painter's apartment, there are a bunch of paintings where you need to paint in a correct spot with the correct color in order to reveal a secret compartment in that painting to give you the next clue or the next scrap of paper that you have to arrange in some way to see like a picture or something. Maybe you're trying to get like a, a key code to type into the laptop to unlock it. Most of the time, this stuff was fairly obvious like it was basically like a, a paint the difference between these two paintings or other times it was obvious that you'd see dishes that are disheveled on the countertop and you have to click on them to see what's underneath those dishes but there were times when I just had no idea what to do or what to click and so I'm just randomly clicking on spots and and sometimes when you're you're painting a painting it doesn't tell you what color is supposed to go where and so I'm just trying every single color until I get the right color filled in to the right shape. My painting abilities on a mouse are not very impressive either, I must say. It is appropriately an artsy kind of game, almost with this like anime aesthetic, but still obviously made on a computer. I don't think it looks bad, but it doesn't look very fluid either. It's definitely uh, made by a smaller development team. You can tell that because the animations are a little more stilted and it's more just watching still images with slight movements happening over and over again. There are some scenes that actually look pretty good with some, so a little bit of action happening, especially when the, the cat enters the scene and is jumping around. And the music was nice. It even tells you at the beginning before you play this game, this game's best played with headphones. And uh, you do put in some uh, cassette tapes into a player and listen to some light piano music or, or some soft jazz as you are interacting inside this apartment trying to uncover the mysteries. It really did remind me of like those old CD-ROM games that you would borrow from the library where they are based off of like old cartoons or books. I'm thinking like Arthur CD-ROM games where you're just clicking around Arthur's room and it, you make the objects do a little hop or something as you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to click on next. I don't know. I don't think this type of game is for me necessarily. I think that they were really trying to like build up to this really uh, extravagant reveal and for most of the game I was fairly bored. It's more just like I'm, I'm interacting with it for something to do and I didn't really start getting interested until near the end when things got a little bit creepy and even more mysterious but by the end I, they were trying to go for like this bittersweet ending that I think was supposed to be like a real gut punch but I don't I wasn't too invested in it the entire time to be honest. The game is only 50 minutes so that's how long it took me anyway. You could probably beat it in half an hour if you knew exactly like where to click and if you were smarter than I am which you probably are. Ultimately if my description of this game didn't really seem to pique your interest I would recommend you stay away from this one. Um, it certainly wasn't for me. I'm going to give this game a 1 out of 5. I could see what it was going for but 
I, I guess I you need to be in the right mood for a more storytelling visual novel such as this, where I think I was looking for more of a gamey game where I'm actually doing more and I'm more invested. Or the if you are going to go for a visual novel such as this, your story needs to be really impactful, and I felt like this one just didn't land with me the way that they were hoping. Well guys, that's it for me. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about Behind the Frame, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye!